Hi everyone, welcome back to the Stitches and Scribbles channel. My name is Erin and today I'm going to be doing a one day makes project. So this project actually started because I took a class at my local library. There's a very talented librarian there who's also a knitter and she did a class on how to do mosaic knitting or sometimes it's called slip stitch knitting. And basically the goal of mosaic knitting is that you can create a color work pattern without carrying more than one color of yarn at the same time. So I started a project in the class but wasn't super happy with my results so I kind of wanted to start fresh and hopefully finish it today as I'm filming this. So this is what slip stitch or mosaic knitting patterns look like. This was something that the librarian printed out for us and when I was taking the class my goal was to create a um, washcloth with this pattern on it. Now, I think I was kind of distracted while we were doing this because we were talking so much. So I don't actually think I did this pattern right. <clears throat> and I also think that I picked colors that, while they're very different colors, they're so close in their tone that the pattern didn't really pop. So this is how far I got. And I don't know about you, but I can't even really tell what the pattern is <laughs> based on what I did. Um, so I think I am going to frog this. I also was not super happy with the needles that I was using because the memory of the cord is really, really strong. So I'm just going to pull that out. If I can get those stitches off, they're really stuck on there. And we're going to start over. So maybe now you can see it a little bit now that it's off the needles, but it still doesn't look great. But I do want to use this purple color because I'm trying to make a hand towel for my first floor bathroom, powder room, half bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think instead of doing the purple with the teal, I'm going to do the purple with cream. I also think I might pick a different pattern to start with and maybe one that's a little simpler. I don't know if any of these are actually simpler. I think I want to do either this one or this one, the like wavy design, but I'm not sure yet. I'll look at the pattern repeat and make a decision, but that's the plan for today. I'm going to start by frogging and then I'm going to cast on on better needles. These are my prim circular needles that have a really good, I believe it's a stainless steel cord. So let's go ahead and get started. It is just past 9.30, it's like 9.34. So let's see how much knitting I can get in before I break for lunch. working on this for about an hour and then took a break to grab some lunch and I had to drop something off at a friend's house but this is how far I got so I made it through three full repeats of this like kind of polka dot checkerboard pattern I don't know what else to call it and I did definitely speed up as I got further along in the pattern um, because it becomes pretty memorizable pretty quickly so I'm just going to keep going on this. This is what the back looks like in case you were wondering. Um, but I really like this process so far. It's very like meditative and not so complicated that I can't like listen to other things while I'm working on it, which is really nice. I actually just finished an audiobook and I'm about to start another one. So let's keep going to see if we can finish this dishcloth today. Not dishcloth, hand towel. Finish this hand towel today.
the finished body of the washcloth. I really love how this turned out. I think it's a really nice texture, especially for drying your hands or whatever. Um, but it looks kind of funky. So I think I'm gonna do an applied I-cord edge and use that I-cord to kind of add a little loop to one corner so that it hangs nicely. But look at how cool this pattern turned out. I'm kind of wondering if I can make my own mosaic patterns. I saw tons of free mosaic knitting patterns on Pinterest. So if you're looking for them, that seems to be a great place to find them. But I did not see any like funky ones. So I'm wondering if that's possible and if I can figure out how to do it. Cause I would love to get like a skull print mosaic pattern or like phases of the moon or something like that. So I might have to try to figure out if I can do that. But for now, we're gonna finish this hand towel with an I-cord border. I'm filming the next morning because I forgot to do the outro last night, but I did finish this all in one day. Here is the finished hand towel, dish towel. It actually could be a trivet too since it's made out of cotton, but I think it turned out super cute. I did do a loop on one corner. You could block these if you're planning on more displaying it than using it, but since I plan on actually using mine as a hand towel, I figured there's no point in blocking it because it's just going to do funky things anyway as soon as somebody uses it to try their hands. But I am really, really happy with this technique. I'm so glad I put the time in to practice it. And I think I'm probably gonna use it again for other projects. So let me know what you think. Um, also, if you're interested in a tutorial of how to do mosaic stitch patterns, I'd be happy to give that a try. Just let me know if anyone's interested. But Again, this is the finished project. I had a lot of fun making it. It did turn out to be very meditative and relaxing to work on it. The stitches weren't that complicated. And I really, really liked being able to do fun color work without having to manage multiple strands of yarn in a row at a time. So awesome, awesome technique to use, especially if you're new to color work and want to give it a try. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on other social media, that information will be down in the description box below. And if you liked what you saw today, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment with any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, and thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.